Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to the sixth instalment of my Christmas series. Um, I just want to take a minute to apologise right now because I sound like death warmed up because I feel like death warmed up. <laughs> um, but yeah, this um, Christmas series I have a new episode every day until Christmas Eve. So if you have missed any of the previous tales, then I would suggest that you go back, watch those and then come back and watch this one because obviously I don't want you to miss this one either. <laughs> um, so yeah, and don't forget to subscribe because uh, I wouldn't want you to miss any future tales over the coming days. Um, so that being said, let's get into today's tale, that of Frau Pöckter. Pöckte, or Bertha in English, uh, was once known as a goddess. Um, in Alpine paganism in the German and Austrian regions, her name once meant the Bright One and was originally tied to the Feast of the Epiphany. Pöckte originally identified as the same Germanic goddess of Holder, um, as both shared the role of guardian of the beasts and appeared during the 12 days of Christmas when they oversaw the spinning of flax. Um, so they both kind of have like really really similar backgrounds um it's just um over time other religions kind of demified her <laughs> In some tales, Perkta would appear as a beautiful woman with white skin and beautiful white flowing hair. Um, she was obviously known as Beautiful Perkta. <laughs> um, she would visit homes during the 12 days of Christmas. And if you had kept a clean home and spun all your flax before the holidays, then you would find a silver coin in your shoe or in a pail the next day. However, if you had not kept a clean home or spun all your flax before Christmas, you would befall ugly Perkta. Once beautiful Perkta had left your home, completely disgusted at how lazy and untidy you and your house was, um, you were be for sure going to be visited by ugly Perkta. She would return that night and instead of a silver coin, you would fall foul of her blade. She would cut your belly open and remove your intestines and then fill you back up with rocks and straw for your laziness. Now, if that isn't higher tier punishment for not picking up your dirty washing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> she would also do this to anyone um, if they'd eaten anything other than fish and gruel on the night of her feast. Um, so she sounds like an incredibly dangerous um, health inspector. <laughs> In more modern times, Perkta is celebrated with a large procession through local towns. Um, literally, they have like these big parades and festivals where people dress up as Perkta. Um, they quite often dress up as Krampus as well at the same time. Um, yeah, we'll cover him in a, a later video, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, during this festival, they tend to wear masks. Um, the people wearing beautiful Perkta masks um, are trying to encourage better financial year, um, you know, better financial windfalls, um, whereas the people wearing ugly Perkta masks are trying to drive away the evil spirits that are supposed to be around during Yule. Um, it's still a very, very old um, parade that has been going on for centuries. Um, it's just with a more modern twist, the people that get dressed up in these festivals um they look amazing 
the amount of time and effort that they actually put into their costumes it's unreal i'll put some photos up for you to see some of them but if you ever get the chance um i'm hoping to one day to go and see this parade in real life because i think it looks amazing <laughs> And that's it guys with these last few added touches um that's our frau perkta all finished um tomorrow i am heading off to the ukraine for a unusual tale so please do join me tomorrow um if you like this video then please do take a minute just to hit the like button it helps the analytics and all that stuff <laughs> and uh for christmas i would love a new subscriber so if you're not subscribed, subscribe. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Um, and I guess I will see you tomorrow. Bye.